So I was working on editing my Ender 5 video where I'm adding linear rails. And while I was doing that, uh, this new monthly subscription box uh, called the Profi Box by Filament One came in. Uh, just subscribed to this. This is my first box. Uh, basically, I used to be a Maker Geeks monthly box subscriber. Uh, that actually was a really good subscription service uh, where they gave you two rolls of filament every month and they just sent you whatever they had, different colors, uh, test filament, that kind of thing. And I've been looking for a replacement for that because I kind of like having random filaments laying around. Um, it's kind of hard to order random filaments for yourself. So I found this one after some people recommended it. Um, and this box, same sort of deal, two filaments a month, random filaments. It could be experimental stuff. It could be stuff from stock. At least that's the way I understand it. So let me break into this, see what I got this month. And uh, as a little preview to my Ender 5 Linear Rails video, I will do a sample print or two based upon what's in the box. I will show you what that looks like and, um, and then you know give you my final impression on the filament that comes in here. So again, this is by Filament One, it's the name of the company. I'll make sure I include links down below. Uh, the box is called a Profi box, or a Profi box, I guess, but I like Profi. Sounds like Profile. Let's take a look at what it comes with. So, paper, biodegradable, that's good. Let's see what this says. Welcome to the Profi family. The Profi box is made by pros for pros, and we couldn't be more excited to have you. Our Profile Box is industry-leading subscription service, and you can expect a lot of goodies every month. Let's recap on what you can expect from the Profile Box, as well as from Filament One. So this will kind of go over what I was talking about. Uh, it's monthly. Every month, we'll be sending you at least two, at least, so that, that's hopeful, uh, two kilograms of PLA filament and 3D printer parts, accessories, and upgrades. You'll be receiving promotions to buy our products at a discounted price. You'll have exclusive access to unreleased and special edition filaments. Uh, you will be billed, da 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 da, and I'm supposed to share all of this with the hashtag profibox 3 d uh, USA company, they've got years of experience, known for premium quality. So, that's what came in the box. And the obligatory candy. So this one comes with the Welch's fruit snacks, which I think my kids got tired of, so I'll eat those. First spool, oh wow, that is some very, very bright neon green. It is called Flash Orange. Yeah, um, that is possibly one of the brightest oranges I've ever seen. And it's probably coming out really well there on the camera. Um, it is almost glowy neon. And it is PLA Pro Select. So this is prints two, 195 to 215. Bed temp 50 to 60 right here. It's a nice spool. Uh, like I said, I've never actually bought this brand of filament before, but that's nice. Let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, okay. This is, thank you uh, for May 2019 is here. Let's see. Let's see. Because we got more from you this month, we are going to be the first to try our new unreleased glint filament. That's right. We've promised to share our new filament colors with Profi Box subscribers. Uh, Glint Evergreen. So that's what's going to be down here. Hold on. Let me go ahead and, while I'm reading about it, I'll pull it out of the box. See, I got a sticker. You've tried the rest. Now try the best. Filament One sticker. I have a pile of 3D printing stickers. And I put them on folders and stuff. Let's see. Nice packaging again. So this. Wow. Filament One Pro Select again. This one is 205 to 225 and 55 to 65 on the bed. This is extremely bright in terms of its shininess. Let's see, I can see if you can see it there. Uh, again, this is another kilogram. It's called Glint Evergreen, and and I would definitely say it's got that sort of tree color. Um, it is shiny. If it was Christmas time, I would print a Christmas tree out of this for sure. So I'm gonna have to find something else green or a good test print for this. And that's it for the box. Let's see what it says in here. 
Um, can't wait to hear your feedback. Let's see, so we got the Pro Select Glint Evergreen. This is their new Glint series, so they're gonna have more of these shiny filaments. Um, let's see, Share Profile Box and the Flash Orange. This month's accessory, a set of nozzle cleaning needles. So it is attached right here. I'm gonna actually leave it on here so I don't lose it. Um, these are a couple of needles, and these are, these are really neat because they actually look textured. So like they, they would actually grab a hold of things uh, stuck in your nozzle. So I assume these are probably 0.4. Uh, let's see, is there anything on it? These are sterile needles. They're acupuncture needles. That's funny. So uh, not an alternative medicine guy myself, so I'm glad they found a good use for these. Um, let's see, they also include a code for 10% off Bontech products, includes the Welch's fruit gummies and a uh, filament one sticker. So that's it for this box. I am actually really pleased with what came in this box. The filament is really nice. Uh, I'm glad that they included something that I definitely would not have ordered for myself unless I had a very specific product, which is why I like these boxes. These are great to keep under the table for when you're not sure what you want to print or you have that random project and you're like, wow, I really wish I had some filament that did that. And so these look so good. Uh, good. These look so far so good. Okay, anyway. So anyway, let's, I'm gonna find a couple of things to test print with these. I wanna get them on the Ender 5, which I've already modified. Like I said, I'm working on that uh, video now. This will give you a little bit of a preview as to what's going on. And let's take a look at those test prints and I will, when those are done, I will uh, do a quick follow up on what I think of the filament. So here are my two models with their filaments. These are straight off the printer. I haven't cleaned them up yet or anything. Uh, for this one, I decided to find a new artist I hadn't printed something from. These are miniatures. They're fairly large miniatures. Uh, here's my hand for reference. And these are by an artist that goes by Slouchbauer. Uh, this is their Hezrau model and their Forest Drake model. And let me give you a good go around here on these models. I think they turned out beautifully. Uh, for what we can see. Lots of detail. The filament really, really shined. Um, and on both of these, straight off the printer, you can see all of the detail. And these were printed at a 0.12 layer height for both of these. Uh, 1.6 millimeter walls, 20% infill, 96% flow rate, which is pretty standard on all of my printers. 50 millimeters per second set in the slicer and I use concentric 20% supports and uh, 0.12 support distance. I'm not going to bore you with removing these supports so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go remove them and we will take a look at these finished models. You can see that this one is actually printed in place. It is complete. It has a base. This model comes uh, where it has to be assembled and I have oriented all the parts myself to where I thought that they would print best with the least amount of supports and I'll go ahead and assemble this one and we'll take a look and I'll give you my final thoughts. So here I am with the final two models. They are uh, cleaned up and assembled. The orange one called a Hezru uh, turned out really well. Uh, in fact the only complaints I have about it are just from the angle that I ended up having to print it at. And so his mouth, uh, the teeth didn't come out, uh, so he looks a little gummy. But other than that, uh, the layer lines look really good. All of the details came out really well. Even the uh, tips of his fingers came out well, and uh, the retraction settings look really good. So uh, as for the orange color, I would say that the only downside to it is it's extremely bright. So. It, it probably isn't looking too good on the, the camera and 
uh, you lose a little bit of the details because of that. So onto the green one, this Drake, this Forest Drake, uh, turned out possibly is one of my favorite models that I've printed so far. Uh, the details are crisp and the, the glitter filament seems to hide all of the layer lines so I really don't see any uh, any trace of the fact that it was an FDM printed model. Uh, it assembled well and all of the supports were moved good. So you can even see the details in his face and in his horns, teeth, tongue, it all looks good. So as for the box itself, I'm very happy with these, this brand of filament. The, the models printed well. Uh, it really worked well on the Ender 5 with my model, uh, excuse me, with my uh, upgrades that I've done to it. So I can't recommend this box enough. If you are looking for a monthly subscription, this is a good choice. And uh, to wrap it up, this was not sponsored by Filament One, and this was something that I purchased myself. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and I will see you next time.